Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Ama Beauty Tarot. It's your girl, Leanne, a.k.a. Lola. Laugh off and love always. I'm your goddess guide to deep inner wisdom and deep soul transformation. That is the Ama and the beauty, and that is the Holy Spirit and the magic. And welcome to this intuitive tarot reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're using a Like a Secrets Tarot today, and we're going to get right into the read. If you have a chance, please follow me on Instagram, where I do live readings every Monday live community general readings on monday we have a little chat we have a little talk and just uh, call in some holy spirit call in some awareness that'll help us to get to what we need to get to and to actually appreciate the messages that are being gifted to us through holy spirit all right we're going to get right into the read for you gemini and we're going to call in the holy spirit to ask holy spirit what if they can join us and give us a clear concise message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing up and showing out already. Um, right now, first card to come up is Four of uh, Swords. Four of Swords. This card is asking you, Gemini, to rest. Rest in yourself uh, to make sure that you're resting and taking a break. This is also about resting in your heart, making sure that you're caring for your emotional awareness, making sure that you're caring for what is going on in your heart, making sure that you're caring for yourself and you're giving yourself a little bit of self-love. The other card that fell out is Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is showing up to tell you that you have all the skills that you need, Gemini, to really get at it what it is that you are actually looking for when it comes to creating the life of your dreams, that you can create and you have all the skills, the knowledge, and the self-awareness to actually create what it is you need. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay. I know you got a lot for Gemini, so thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you get a couple more cards for Gemini for this intuitive tarot reading? Gemini new moon energy coming through okay we got four cups that has uh, dropped for you Gemini this is to me is telling you to be a little bit more grateful for the things that you do have and not be so concerned about the stuff that you don't have four of cups shows up and you can see that the the rainbow is actually filling up this one single cup she's looking off into wherever and these cups are empty and stacked up. So it's just about being having some gratitude and really making sure that you're looking deeply into the things that you do have and you're giving the honor and gratitude to those things that you are receiving instead of worried about what you don't have. Okay, I'm right back in. Ask Holy Spirit to bless us with, I'll take that card whatever holy spirit needs to tell us may this reading be okay we'll take this to clear and concise thank you holy spirit what do you have for us uh the king of swords has shown up king of swords and when he shows up for me this is about really tapping into your internal wisdom your inner self um you, knights represent the the mind the mind and the, how you actually um discern things so this is a saying tap into your inner wisdom tap into the strength of your knowing and your your knowledge of what it is that you are creating eight of uh of uh pentacles uh, tap into the ability and lean into the knowledge that you already have knight of wands is saying you're smart enough to take on what you need to take on seven of wands shows up um and i'm sorry that was knight of swords but seven of wands king of swords <laughs> seven of wands is showing up to let me know to tell you that you are protected divinely 100 percent protected and the, the external sources that are trying to impede your mind impede your thought patterns impede you with negative thought patterns they're not going to win stay true to the self stay really in your energy space mm. stay in your energy space stay in your bubble you are completely divinely protected you are being shrouded with god's love so make sure that you're just being grateful for the things that are being given to you and make sure that you have the discernment to see when things are people are trying to get you off your path and make sure that you're leaning really into this this wonderful abilities the skill set that you have gemini you have so many skills uh, jack of all trade master of none instead of when it's better to master more than just one and you are doing that so be the jack of all trades and the master of more than just one stay in that and make sure that you're resting and taking care of yourself giving yourself the self-love that you need let's see what else the spirit has for you gemini sun moon rising and venus whoa two cards popped out all right run towards your dreams gemini um knight of one knight of swords shows up and again it's like you know, of course this is about having discernment and, and really seeing the end result. Okay. So this is like going 
for me, when I see this card, it's like running toward your dreams and soaring. But this also is registering for me today as seeing the end result, seeing, seeing this end result, seeing that you have put, that you actually put the work in and you're leaning into your skills, leaning into your eight of pentacles skills, and that you're grateful. You have the gratitude that is coming forward for you to see the end result. Okay. Knight of Pentacles shows up and he's saying, I'm the energy of knight. I'm sorry, King of Pentacles. I keep saying knight and kings. I'm getting them confused today. King of Pentacles shows up and he's saying, I am the powerful creator, the powerful financial creator. I have the mind to take the skills that I've been gifted, Eight of Pentacles, and I have the mind to create it into the life of my dreams. I have the mind to create it into the life of my dreams. So King of Pentacles shows up to tell you that you have the uh, skills needed to just really be in the strength and in the ability that you possess, Gemini, because you're the only one that has those, sk those skills. You're, there's only one you, so you have the skills. You've done the teachings. You've done the, the research. You, you learned how to do the thing. Continue to work that magic. Continue to work your magic. Know that you are divinely protected when you're working that magic. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Two of Pentacles just dropped right out of the thing before I even asked Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit has a lot to say to us today. So two of Pentacles. This is funny because I just was talking to my sister about balancing, balancing my budget. And this two, two of Pentacles is telling me it's time for us to really balance the budget. It's no longer kind of willy-nilly when it comes to money, especially the fact that King of Pentacles shows up. And we have to be really regimented and much more disciplined about how we're actually spending our money. Know where every dollar is going. Give it a job to actually tell you where it's going so that you can really create and use those skills and create the life of your dreams. Okay? The wheel shows up. Completion. We're at the end of a cycle. We're completing something to start something new. Things are falling off. New things are coming up. So this is a wonderful card to show up and say, hey, you have this ability for the cycles to finish. And 10 is completion. So 10 is the wheel. And she's also balanced on top of the wheel. So it's about finding your inner balance to, to accepting the completion of a cycle and move into the new cycle. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you. <sighs> Judgment. Judgment showed up. And I'm going to say for the download that I'm getting with this card is that um, stop judging yourself. Stop judging what where you are. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Know that you have the power within you to really make your life exactly what you want to be gemini move forward in this energy that is yours look deep inside and know that the judgment that you're looking at is incorrect the story of you not being enough is not true and stop judging yourself stop holding judgment that you're not 1500 miles ahead of the pack and just really lean into the fact that you have all the skills that you need to create and that you have the discernment to actually sit in that energy of abundance and really move forward in it and that you're not allowing outside sources to really try to get to you and try to to take you off your path okay whoa 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 okay well 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 well, well, well. the moon showed up and i'm going to say to this this card tells me don't believe the stories don't believe the illusion that the mind is telling you ego is not telling you the truth um and don't listen to the stories that are causing you sadness or strife Nine of Swords shows up. And again, this is like you, about Nine of Swords traditionally means that you're in the sense of bereavement or loss. But I'm going to say to you, release the energy of the stories that are being told to you. It goes along with the illusion card because they fell out at the same time. The stories aren't true, and but you're getting stuck in them, Gemini. And you're thinking that those things are true. You're thinking that those sad stories that your mind is telling you are true and they are not true. They really are not. And you have to release that and let it go. Because remember, the, the judgment that you're holding against yourself is really because of the mind, of the old paradigms, the old thought patterns. It's time to shift them and move into something new. You might go into a, set, a place where the hermit shows up, where you need to have some time alone, where you need to be on your own to do some internal inventory and to really start to search within so that you can find 
the resilience, which is the light inside, okay? And the lovers shows up to let me know that a love could be coming your way. And I have to say it, you know, and I'm hoping it's, it could be two kinds of love. I'm going to say this because this is what Spirit is saying. It could be that once you do this stuff and you rest and you take care of yourself and you, you make sure that you're really discerning how you're spending money and how your money is moving for you and creating for you and you're using your gifts, self-love shows up, right? But the lovers can also mean that love, like someone external, someone is showing up for you. Your divine partner is showing up for you. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, this card is like you have the emotional, emotional <laughs> you have the emotional capacity to actually hold the space that you need for yourself to find that self love and to find that divine love within, to really go inside eternally and really do that internal work. You have the emotional capacity to do that. You have the ability to release the judgment that you're having with yourself. You have the ability to let go of the sad thoughts, the lack thoughts, the, the strife, the discord within. You have this ability to let go of the illusion that you're no good, that nothing is working out for you. You have the ability to do that. You have the ability to lean into the gifts that God has given you and lean into the ability to create multiple streams of income, multiple ideas, multiple things. You have that ability to do that. You have the discernment to see that you can move your money and balance your money in the way that you need to balance your money so that you can move into that new beginning so you can do that completion and walk through that portal of the world so that you can stand on top, stand on top of the world and stand in the world as your best self as long as you're finding gratitude for the things that you do have, as long as you're not listening to the other people trying to get you off your path, and as long as you have the discernment and you follow, follow the discernment that is yours, follow the knowledge that you have and making sure that you rest while you're doing all these things. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Gemini, for... Um, joining me for this intuitive tarot reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share me with a friend because I'm super shareable. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on this week. And um, make sure to subscribe so that you know when I'm coming with, for, with an intuitive message or a message for you the next time. I love you. Be safe. Bye.